While I was looking through the many books that I bought and never read in full, I came across this one, which is uh, Nicholas Zlonimsky's uh, Thesaurus of Scales and Melodic Patterns. If we take a look at the comments at the back, we can read something like an astounding feat of invention and knowledge, or a monumental compilation of unfamiliar melodic patterns, and stuff like that. This book has been used by many musicians, like John Coltrane or Frank Zappa, and as the author says, this book can be thought of as a reference book of scales and melodic patterns, analogous in function with phrase books and dictionaries of idiomatic expressions. So what Zlonimsky does in this book is presenting a never-ending list of possible musical patterns that we can use in our composition or in our improvisation. Most of those patterns derive from the equal division of an interval, which can be one octave or two octaves, and uh, such a division is then connected through a series of uh, uh, carefully chosen passing tones, which can be one up or one down or one in the middle and stuff like that. It's, uh, it might deserve a longer talk, so if you're interested into that, let me know in the comments below and we might shoot a more um, talkative video specifically on this book over here. What I wanted to do today is to see if I can find through these pages some ideas that we can use on the Usta sequencer. So as you can see, we have many, many, many patterns, thousands of them. And um, I wanted to start with pattern one, just to see if there is room. So I just programmed it on the um, Usta sequencer and it sounds like this. So I'm gonna also show you uh, it visually on the, the controller here. So we took an octave and then it says equal division of one octave into two parts. So we have the interpolation of one note. So we divide the octave into two equal parts, which is a tritone. And then we use one tone between this and this to fill the gap. And uh, he starts by doing uh, like a semitone and then up. And then we have a whole tone and then up. And we repeat the pattern, this small cell, across as many octaves we want. Something interesting that he says is that Fragments of the scales and patterns may be used as motifs and themes, and the rhythmical elaboration is left to the imagination of the composer. And um, let's see, I already programmed the pattern one on the Usta sequencer, so the first thing I'm gonna do is patch it to uh, the brain. So let's start, let's use the green one, and then patch the sawtooth to Kunsas filters and um, let's use the combination of filters one and two for our purpose. Uh, okay. This is what it sounds like. First I think I'm gonna duplicate it and use it to control also our Kunsa filter besides the brain so green generator. Then we can try to see how this atonal pattern can work with other structures. So for example, I added a very simple bass line playing only two notes, C and F sharp. And uh, I added a integration over the second stage, over the CVB value that opens up our wave folder, something like this. And as Zlonimsky said, at this point we can play with the rhythm. So let's see how it sounds like with a different pattern. I removed some of the stages and I changed a bit the settings on the Kunsa filter. Let's add some if effects. Or I can create a bass line using a tonal uh, line. Let's try to make it a bit 
faster. Something that we can do is using the same CV that we used to block the base to control the baseline and use it to transpose the sequence number one, the path, the, our first pattern, according to the note that is playing. So another thing that we can do is to quantize this pattern because it is true that Znanimsky's idea was based on an equal division, equal chromatic division of the octave, but uh, we can still get the idea and uh, force it into a tonal context. So let's hit our quantization mask and set it to Aeolian. Pose it up one octave. Nice, isn't it? thinking that I can spice the patch up a bit by adding a slew limiter here. I would like to have a more closed filter so I will pass my gates through an envelope and then use this to ping the Kunsa. like this okay nice and we can use the same approach with other patterns so for example I can let's go back to chromatic and we can select another pattern that I pre-programmed according to pattern uh, this one 141 so we have the same division of octave into two equal parts like a triton and then we have uh, three nodes in the middle infra inter ultrapolation so we have b d g and then the same pattern goes on so let's select it it's between patterns two and three Here it is lower. Let's hear first how it sounds like when quantized to our trusty Eolian scale. This is even without changing the length because we are using the quantization scale so some notes are so close that actually use the quantize them to the same note of the scale. We can play a bit with the quantization style and set it for example to near down. higher um, and play with a higher ratio for example one to four and add some gates here as well we can use the same trick as before so by using a um, signal pass here and I think that we can cap it here as for our first encounter with Zloninsky's book 
I hope you found this video useful and interesting and if you want to see more patches like this let me know in the comments below as you can see we have thousands of patterns to explore and also thousands of approaches also if you want to learn more about uh, the book and how it is structured let me know this as well meanwhile I hope again you found this video useful and I will see you next time for more patch ideas